Is this thing on? Welcome back to Big Mouth and fancy seeing you here in June. A very welcome, my friends, and especially my enemies. Come in, sit down, no touching. I don't do the touching. If you're feeling charitable, please subscribe to the channel and smash the like button. And please do follow me on Twitter at Movies TV Man. It's crazy. We're all throwing all this information at you all the time, aren't we? That's why people don't get subscribers like me because. Follow me on this, add me on that, it's insane. It gets on my tits too. So welcome to Big Mouth. Come here, Trekkies. Right, I don't do a lot of Star Trek videos, but I am a big Star Trek fan, but I'm not a diehard, obsessive Star Trek geek. But I do love it, so I want to make that clear. So my fellow Trekkies, take a listen to this. Strange. New. Worlds. You asked. We listened. It's happening. Wow, I'm so glad I finally get to share this news with you guys. Speaking just for myself, I have never received more love from a fan base than I have from the Star Trek family. Without you, this wouldn't be happening, so thank you so much. I can't wait to put on that gold Starfleet uniform and deliver number one right along with Captain Pike and Spock. It is a huge honor. It means even more for us to be able to announce this right now at a time when so much of the planet is hurting. The ethos of Star Trek is so curious and welcoming and unifying. And we're going to get to work on a classic Star Trek show that deals with optimism and the future. Here we go. I can't wait. And I guess there's only one more thing to say. Ted. So, isn't that exciting? Isn't that exciting? Wow. So we're literally having a Captain Pike and Spock TV show. So basically, um, the Pike era is set, if, I, if I'm right and Trek is down in the comments below, can correct me on this. The Pike era, the Captain Pike um, being in charge of the Enterprise is just before the Kirk era, right? So some, no, I think actually it all makes sense because I think... Um, um, Spock actually did work with Pike in the original show, didn't he? Until they brought kind of, kind of Captain Kirk in. So it all actually, it's all part of the canon. So very exciting. We are going back to the very beginning of Star Trek in a Captain Pike and Spock show. Now, Anson Mount as Pike went down really well on the Star Trek Discovery show. Now, I know a lot of people, including the fandom menace, have got issues with CBS All Access's vision for Star Trek, Star Trek Discovery, um, Picard. Personally, although I don't think um, Star Trek Discovery is the best Star Trek show of all time, I do think it's an interesting show. I think it works for the audience it wants. Problem is, that's probably not necessarily um, the diehard Trekkies, which is unfortunate, of course. Now, Picard has had a lot of complaints. It's saying it doesn't feel like Star Trek. I still think it's a great, um, it, it was a great opportunity for Pat to return as the character. And I am enjoying it, but again, it doesn't really feel like Star Trek. In a way, it all feels like Star Trek Into Darkness, which of course was a, was a really good movie, but it was so un-Star Trek. And I think that's the problem with Discovery, and that's the problem with Picard as well. They're not, it's not that they're bad shows and they're badly made. They just feel very on Star Trek, and I can absolutely agree with that. Now, you you saw you you heard there that they said this is about optimism and looking to the future. That is very very interesting. Are is is there a course correction here? Are they finally realizing that this just isn't working? What these un Star Trek projects that are supposed to be the new era of Star Trek? Are simply not working. They are not making money for them. They're not shifting units. They're not getting the subscribers on CBS All Access. They're not getting what they want from these shows. There is plenty of identity politics, of course, and, and, we, and we all know that. Um, but we must be clear here, there's a difference between identity politics and representation. Representation was Gene Roddenberry's vision for Star Trek, and we saw that in the original, you know, 60s TV show with Bill Shatner and Leonard Nimoy and, and the rest of the awesome cast of characters, of course. Um, and then after all that, we had Next Generation, Deep Space Nine. We had a lot of good 
I, th I think even the Enterprise show with Scott Bakula was pretty cool. I think all those shows were, were, were pretty awesome, right? And I think what happened was, and then we went through, and, and we, when we had the Next Generation movies as well, so we had Next Generation, we had all of that stuff, awesome, right? And then we had the Next Generation movies, which I enjoyed. I didn't feel they were as classic as the original um, Enterprise teams um, movies, but they were good, and I, we liked the cast, and we enjoyed them to a point. And then we got nothing. And then in 2009, we got J.J. Abrams' Star Trek. I absolutely love J.J. Abrams' Star Trek. I mean, look, nothing's going to beat the original, and I don't want you to start killing me down in the comments here, but I think it worked. I, I think the tone, I think it was, it was perfect. The casting, the direction, the performance. Yes, it was a lot more epic than classic Star Trek. I agree with that. And more like Star Wars and Star Trek, but it was emotional, the banter between Spock and Kirk and Ahura as well, which I thought she was played brilliantly. So I thought Star Trek 2009 actually was very Star Trek and it kind of worked. And if only they if only they didn't just go to the five year mission after Star Trek 2009, I think JJ and the team could have done something really, really special. It all went wrong. That film franchise died. And then we got Discovery. Then we got Picard. Um, and now we've got this. This seems a bit of a restart, doesn't it? Don't forget, we've you know we've 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 we've, al we've already met Anson Mount on the Star Trek Discovery as well. But this is like literally saying, was this, 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 it just sound, it just seems like a course correction to me. And as I say, representation is where we want to go. We want good actors and actresses, or I think they all like to be called actors now. So we mustn't call females actresses anymore if that's they don't like being called that that's fine so it's it's just great for female and male actors to be represented so if there is a is a good, really good actor who's a minority and deserves to get the role he or she should get the role but certainly you shouldn't get the role just because you are a minority this is where the distrust has happened and the, the division between consumer and creatives now i think that's where the problem lies and that's a problem that needs to be fixed quickly because ultimately you can go around calling us toxic fans, entitled fandoms and stuff like that. But we are your bread and butter. We are your customers. And to be honest with you, apart from the fandom menace, apart from the neurotic, neurotic channel calling this desperate, and of course it's desperate in a way. They're not making money from what they're doing. It is an admittance of guilt, if you like. Now, you should just wait to see what it's going to be. There's, as I say, a lot of people, especially the fandom menace, are not impressed. I don't think anyone was impressed when The Mandalorian was announced and everybody loves it now. The Mandalorian isn't the greatest thing, but it's not the worst thing. It just works for what it is. The, you know, the man without a name going from place to place, helping different people every week and protecting this kid, baby Yoda, which apparently is actually Yoda. But we'll find out about that in the future. So how do I feel about this project? I think it's a great idea. It's a great move. It brings positivity back into Star Trek. And I really, really do hope that this Pike and his Captain Pike and this Spock show is a really awesome thing. And it goes back to the spirit of Star Trek, which I do believe J.J. Abrams' Star Trek 2009 did attempt and did it succeed at. But what do you think? Are you excited about this Pike Spock TV show? Is this the right direction for CBS All Access? Or do you think it's going to be the same old problem again? Comment down below, like, share and subscribe and I'll be back with more Star Trek videos because I'm telling you what, there's a lot to unpackage with this and I can't wait to be doing videos and talking about it with my fellow Star Trek fans. See you again soon.